Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I am home, uh, like a lot of us are right now with this coronavirus going around. And I want to spend a couple minutes not to talk about uh, general aviation, aviation, airplanes, what's going on out there. I really want to talk about uh, this coronavirus um, and how it's affecting the country of the United States and affecting really the whole world at this point. And I really want to stress how proud and honored I am uh, to first of all live in the United States and number two um, how our doctors and nurses or all of our first responders are really out there uh, doing their part um, to help save lives. This is a, a war on a virus that is sweeping across the United States and really affecting our senior citizens in uh, group homes, nursing homes, and also affecting the younger and uh, in the, in the middle-aged uh, people in the United States right now. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for the first responders. Um, I still, I've been EMT now for 20 years as a volunteer, and I also want to thank the Phillipsburg Emergency Squad that I'm actually a part of, and to really going out there and helping people get through this very difficult time, and people who still need the care, uh, not necessarily have the virus, but are sick with other sicknesses, or get hurt, motor vehicle accidents, uh, those people still need help and care from the first responders and I'm very proud to be part of a first responder organization like the Phillipsburg Emergency Squad. Uh, very proud of uh, the members there who are going out of their way uh, to help these people. Even with the corona, people who have the coronavirus, they're going out there and helping these people get to the hospital and these are mostly volunteers and I, we really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Along with the doctors in these hospitals um, who are, and nurses who are sleeping at their jobs, who are trying to sleep for an hour or two, who are working so many hours to get to, to get in front of this virus. And it's very, very difficult uh, right now for these first responders, doctors and nurses in these hospitals. Uh, they're putting themselves out there to help these people and to help slow down and to potentially stop this virus from continuing to grow. Um, I know for a fact that a lot of my friends are kind of getting restless in their homes with their kids. Uh, I get it. I understand. Uh, but the best thing we can do right now, folks, is work from home. Uh, try to contain this virus as much as possible. Uh, more so, especially in the states like New York that I live in, um, which is growing each day by the thousands. And, uh, well, you know, New York State has New York City, the biggest city in the country, uh, 10 million people. So we're really testing a lot of people. So a lot of big numbers coming out of uh, New York right now. Um, but, yeah, I really, really, again, folks, uh, want to say, I know this is a small channel, um, but I really want to put out there that I really, really want to thank the first responders, police, firemen, EMTs, EMS, um, uh, all the people who are putting this together, not just the first responders, but governors across the country, um, council people, uh, the President of the United States, his people, to really, really get in front of this. This is not a political matter, it's not a Democrat matter, it's not a Republican matter, it's not a conservative matter, it's none of that. That's out the window, folks. This is a worldwide issue, and uh, the United States, unfortunately, is a part of it, and fortunately, there was no way out of it, um, you know, because the people from the United States travel all over the world 24-7. Um, so when you get it, you don't really know you have it. And before you know it, you already spread it to multiple people. And that's the problem with this virus, and it's airborne. Uh, so unfortunately, we are in um, uh, flu season. Where people are getting the flu. People are getting ammonia. And on top of all that, you have this coronavirus kind of hit people down a little bit more. So all I can say folks is stay strong, uh, work hard, um, support others. There's plenty of charities that you can donate to uh, if you have the extra money right now. And uh, number one is Feeding America. That's a great charity. And also First Responders Childhood Foundation. So it's First Responders Childhood Foundation and Feeding America. Uh, two great organizations that can use some help. And of course, uh, if you want to volunteer at a nursing home, volunteer at an EMS agency, uh, or volunteer at a food pantry, anywhere you can volunteer safely 
Everybody needs your help, and uh, thank you again so much. And everybody needs our help right now. Again, this is a uh, worldwide crisis, and we're going to get through it together. And I, you know, I know a lot of people are getting kind of depressed and are stuck at home and unemployed, uh, and I feel that. Thank you so much for the first responders, uh, doctors, nurses, anybody who's involved, even the cook who's cooking at these hospitals. Thank you guys so much. so much for your hard work and dedication uh, there's there's not enough thanks that I can give that anybody can give these workers but like always folks when America is hurting everybody comes together to make it work um, just like Ford and Chevy making ventilators people are going out of their way to make certain things and that is a great feeling to know the United States is always united together and that is very important in hard times uh, and sometimes we forget we forget about the hard times and we forget about September 11th uh, we forget about we're gonna forget about the coronavirus that killed thousands of people um, we already forgot about how you know millions um, people that died from the AIDS virus you know back you know talking 20 30 years ago now 40 years ago even um, and always keep those people in your back of your mind and, and always support each other no matter what uh, day you might be having because no matter how you look at it folks there's always somebody that's worse off than you are right now but always remember that folks always remember that but really a quick video thank you again for the first responders I really really appreciate it doctors nurses again I really really appreciate it like any questions you can email me at pilotfinder101 at gmail.com so until next time folks stay strong be safe and fly safe. See ya. Watch me. Light scale.